Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is The Disgraced. All fragments and aspects I'm using on my Stormcaller, I am using Chaos Reach, are here in the video. And the weapons I'm using is the Succession Primary Sniper, I'm using Trinity Ghoul Energy Bow, and Fixed Odds Heavy, and my Exotic is Verity's Brow. All, all of the... All of the mods and ammo finders and ammo scavengers i'm using and, and and all the rest of it are shown here in the video i am not using an an unstoppable there were three unstoppables in this strike and i felt like i could do big damage anyway to them and you'll see here they do take a quarter of the damage when they're not stopped which is still you can still kill them and it's kind of the point of using a machine gun although i wanted a solar weapon with a consistent rate of fire to take down the wizards. So the one thing I noticed that's kind of changed in this nightfall, and I don't know when it changed, is at the in this very start bit, you've got two barriers. When you first get into it, you've got two barriers, a whole bunch of fallen. Then fallen will kind of filter into the area as you clear ads. You know, the, there are once you clear one section, another section will come. It's how aggressive they were at the start here. So I got up here and then I threw a grenade. I tried to throw it past the barrier so that he wouldn't run or it wouldn't run. But they were coming right out here. The barriers, at one, when I'd done one run where the barriers came where this, where this uh, vandal is. Uh, it's a cool thing having this little arc buddy. You can see here I'm going to go and pick this uh, little font of light because uh, attrition is on. So it's it's... The, now the, mo the, the modifiers will change daily, there are three sets that change, but uh, the attrition, attrition is always on, but you, in this one I believe, the re another reason I used machine gun ammo is one of the rotating modifiers is heavy ammo drops more for machine guns than it does any, any other heavy, but it actually if I'm being honest, it put me on to the fact that the the fixed odds, which my fixed odds, I believe, has Killing Tally and Feeding Frenzy. Killing Tally is basically Rampage that doesn't go away as long as... You, it only goes away when you reload uh, and, or you store the weapon. So, kills increase the damage of this weapon. It used to be the, the perk on the the old the old style of pinnacle weapons, the, the seasonal pinnacle weapon. 21% delirium. That was where that mod, for, that uh, perk was first kind of seen. So as you can see here, attrition allows for a couple of things. I'll just put my rough down here. It allows you to push and be more aggressive. Even though you are taking 50% more arc damage, attrition allows you to be more aggressive. Now, this is what I'm talking about. So I put my grenade here. I know, you can see there the barrier was was thinging those, uh, defending those enemies and just teleported so I, w I came up here to take down the barrier and the barrier teleported into the middle of the map so now i'm just going to put some shots on him now you can see there because he's arc debuffed uh if you if you uh debuff with with the mod i've got on my my wallet bond a trace evidence if you do damage to an ad that is arc debuffed and kill an ad that's arc debuffed you will get an ionic trace which helps you get your abilities back faster it's not astounding you don't get tons and tons back but it is some ability energy getting some ability energy back is better than getting none now again there's a lot of snipers in here so you kind of just have to you know make sure that you're clear of them if you don't have the succession, because I know that, you know, it comes from deep stone, so not everybody's going to have it. If you've got a primary or, an, you know, an energy sniper, whichever way you're going to go with it, that has triple tap on it, uh, that, that, it's not, right, I'm not going to say, oh, no, it's as good. It's not, but it's the closest thing you'll get to it, you know, is having something or, or uh, overflow, something like that. You can basically have the pe the reason why I use this sniper is because of the ability to to put eight in the mag you know i've got uh, on my succession on the one that i use i've got reconstruction which will basically over overload over reload the weapon to double its capacity 
and then Rampage, which is no good for single fire damage. It's, it's not a great perk on a sniper if you're using it for champions, because how often are you going to be able to kill a champion uh, and then go, go ahead and start killing tons of other enemies in a weapon that only has a set amount of... Uh, a set amount of ammo and you're trying to conserve ammo because that is your barrier ammo so if you have a weapon a, a primary sniper or if you energy if you're going to go down that route that has something like triple tap or overflow you can basically it will basically do the same things so here i have just taken out the waves of fallen that are coming up you'll know the waves have gone the waves that will push you are gone when the shriekers open when the shriekers open and and you know, start firing in your direction. Then you know that all the waves of ads that are going to push are gone. And I think these last two are the last two. These last two throw. Now, if you're back, if you push back to a certain point, this 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 one on the side, he was like all over the place. So I decided to not waste any more super, uh, sniper ammo. Uh, if you push back into the building, like I have, they. they they might shoot you if you're at the doorway, but only if you've aggroed them already. So if you push too far down in the first place, if you're where you shouldn't be, right, then they, they, they will keep shooting you as you come back into the building. But if you're in the building when they open, you're kind of thing. So, these two barriers, what an annoyance they were. Uh, problem with these barriers is if you crit them, like so... You will stagger them, and they will fall off the box. And I don't have enough heavy to keep uh, body shotting. So what to do is use something that isn't high impact. Uh, I'm just going to keep some of my... Keep one special round and try and get an another one while I'm not. I've got a special brick there. I'm just going to use my super now. And then, it used to be just a... I think it was intrinsic to the Geomags. That uh, you could cancel your super mid-super and save some super energy. Well, it's intrinsic now, it seems. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on him. Uh, body him. And then, once he once he goes down like he just did there. Right? Once he bends down, you can safely hit him in the face. And he won't fall off the... The box then you've got two so you'll probably have a bunch of venues between here and the stairs on the right but you're gonna have two more barriers and uh and an arc shielded knight so just be careful of not over committing your position so i'm gonna you see what i've done there i've thrown my i threw my uh i threw my melee and what my melee done, I'll just take some of these ads out. I've got a, a, an attrition. Uh, what my melee done was it, it amplified because that bad ampl amplitude. Uh, it amplified the champion. It's not just, you know, it's any arc ability that does it will, will amplify the champion. You see there, even my arc soul has amplified him. So he will now... Uh, you know when it, when a champion is amplified because you can see them that kind of arc. You see how it's it basically the arc stain on them, and because he was amplified, you see those. Uh, I was getting ionic traces, and that is from so the, the two perks, the two mods that I've got on my my wallet bond do that. The bad amplitude and trace evidence. Bad amplitude is when you ampl you know affect a champion with an arc ability. Uh, they become amplified and they'll kind of spread out arc damage. And trace evidence is if you deal damage to an enemy, uh, it says defeating co combatants affected by arc debuffs spawn an ionic trace. But I've noticed when you just do damage to them, but maybe that's an intrinsic, that's on, on one of my fragments actually. Uh, I seem to remember one of the fragments. Uh, no, I've just, no, it's not. It's It must just, oh, is it one of the... Is it one of the aspects? No, oh, it's just defeating. Okay, cool. But I've noticed that I'm getting them even though I'm not defeating the enemies. So I don't know if that bad ampl uh, that uh, trace evidence just gives you it even if you're just damaging the enemies. Something to look out for. 
uh, Bungie and badly worded uh, mods and <laughs> uh, mods, quests, <laughs> triumphs, unheard of. Anyway, so as you can, as you you've seen for yourself, I haven't really come up against any unstoppables. Hence why I thought running an unstoppable, a shotgun, pulse rifle, whatever, was just uh, felt kind of you know a waste of a slot. Uh, and you'll see here when we get to this first unstoppable how easy it's a it actually is to take out unstoppables without actually an unstoppable weapon. You've got to remember, stopping a champion means they take. A, a regular amount of damage, unstopped. Oh, unstoppables are really the only one you can do it with. Uh, they take a quarter of the damage they normally would. So you'll see here how much, and it might not, it might even be more than that now because really take out this unstoppable quickly. So there is Navota. This is the first time you see her. So what I've done is I put the grenade on her and I, I, I broke her shield with a machine gun. That kept her in position. That was the main thing, keeping her in position here. Uh, I'll try and break a champion shield. And I, I'm, I'm so used to my heavy weapons auto reloading that it was something that I didn't really take into consideration is once I used the machine gun, it wouldn't reload. So now you can see there my arc, my arc soul and everything else is overloading, uh, uh, attaching amp uh, and the amplified effect to, th to the barrier champions, which means they're just going to share damage out. Uh, the, and, and as I've already said, and as you, you, you can quite quite plainly see, it does it to, with your arc soul, it does it with grenade, and it does it with melee. Any arc ability. So we're going to throw the grenade on the, 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 unsto the unstop. You can see how much damage the grenade is doing on its own. Almost a third of his health. I just put a little bit. I don't want to. I I I don't want to burn ammo like needlessly. I want to make sure I've uh, I've got. So see there, I've got a brick of, a brick of special that put me back up to just about max. So I'm just gonna put. I'm testing here to see how much damage each of my weapons are doing. So that's about. Just about 3,100, three, just under that. Uh, 7,400, 7,447, and then I'm doing 1,264 1, per shot with the machine gun. I see I've got heavy there, but I just want to get rid of them. I'll go and get this uh, brick of special, brick of heavy. Now we're going to go after the, the barrier champion. Now there's a barrier champion up top here, and then there's two... At the very top of this ramp, they, that will be where last barriers. In the boss room, it's going to be uh, unstoppables. So we're just going to put a couple more shots on them. Make sure they're precisions so he can't shield again. So there's two more at, right at the top. That not, not these enemies that are shooting now. So I drop, I drop a grenade and you can see coupled with the grenade and... Uh, Coupled with the grenade and sharing the damage from Trinity Ghoul. Took about just about all of them away. And then I'll just break him and then snipe him. That's all the enemies here. Now, just pick up some of these uh, attrition. I don't know why I'm picking saying pick some of them up. You only need to pick one. Now there's two barriers here. This is the last two barriers in this nightfall. I'll just hit them. You see all well, the thrall that were there just disappeared. And we've, we've amplified... We are amplified, but we've amplified the champion. And now we're amplifying this champion, which means he will share. Now, it's something I'm going to have a look at here, because I thought he took more damage from the amplified. But I, I, if you were looking there at how much damage the Oxel was doing, I mean, it was in the thousands. It's crazy how much that, that little Ark buddy does. There we go, guys. Now we're at the boss. I'm just going down here because I, I do remember having at least a brick of special down here. Uh, there we go. And then we're, we're at the boss. So, for anybody that doesn't know, just a little, a little bit of trivia. This used to be the Omnigo strike in Destiny 1. It's changed the name of the strike and they've changed the final room. Uh, but it's still, a, it's still a wizard. She even makes the same shrieks. Uh, 
Except now you've got to go into the room and she changes position based on the damage that you do to her. So she's going to start down at the bottom here. Uh, so every time you do a set amount of damage to this, this uh, wizard, another wave of ads is going to come out. So here she is. She's solar shielded. Now, what I'm going to do right off the bat, and she moved. So I, And you can see she's amplified, so she's sharing the damage between uh, the first set of ads that come out. So uh, that's my super used, and my, uh, my machine gun isn't going to melt her. It, we don't have a setup to melt the boss. It's about repeatedly doing good damage. Now, the probably the main thing I've got the problem with, and you can quite clearly see, once you break her shield, she will run and hide. I hate the fact I hate any ad that I'm not saying, you know, in the perfect world all ads will just stand there and allow you to kill them. But the fact that she consistently runs when she's uh, and hides is it's it's pretty annoying to me. It seems like the AI for Destiny's uh, Destiny's uh, ads is literally that. It's to run and hide. So we've got rid of her. Pretty pretty straightforwardly. Now the first ads I'm going to take care of are these two Arc Knights that come out of this door. There's a whole bunch. I'll just snipe them. There's a whole bunch, you see there, a whole bunch of ads that come from up top. So I'm, this is where we're going to get some Trinity Ghoul chained damage. Now the way that Trinity Ghoul works, and again, I am sure that everybody knows this. The way that Trinity Ghoul works is when you get a kill, uh, it, you know, when you get a kill with it, you uh, just throw my grenade up there become get some arc traces going when you throw when you when you when you kill an enemy with trinity go it, it basically amplifies trinity go when you've got the catalyst you, you you know you get from any arc kill so it's 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 uh if you've not got the catalyst i i would go and get it or i'd try and get it very good with the catalyst in fact this is i use trinity go at at the at Oryx, the boss of uh, King's Vault, and it just destroys all the ads. So what we're doing here, again, as it's it's a it's a tried and tested Destiny mechanic. And we'll just put my super on her. Uh, as no, a tried and tested Destiny mechanic. As let's get out here because we're first unstoppables coming in this area. So. So basically, do do the tried and tested destiny mechanic is do a certain amount of damage to uh, the boss. Boss disappears, bunch of bads come, and then when you get so far through, uh, the boss will disappear, and then you'll get big damage. And sometimes it isn't that isn't tried and tested. You know that that happens, but it's not doesn't happen a lot. But I call this the cocoon phase normally, where you can't damage the boss. The boss goes into an immunity phase, cocoons itself so you can't do damage. So, as you've seen, there was a, an absolute ton of uh, acolytes that came out. This is the first unstoppable. Uh, when the boss uh, go, disappears for a bit, this unstoppable comes out. So, what we'll do is just between all war abilities we will just melt melt this champion down I know I've got heavy ammo and a bit of special there that's some special two bricks are heavy so I can reload we can kind of save what we're sniper should we need it and then just we're just going to try and do the melt and then get out of here because the next unstoppable spawns from right behind us and luckily there was an attrition mod there attrition well there so there are two, there are two uh, ogres here. One is just a red bar, which you know, you just take him down normal, and then the other unstoppable, and then that is the last champion. So be careful. You'll see here. I, I think I've got the the head glitch on him, and uh, haven't because he will eventually hit me. Hit me. 
And I've got a, a rift that I was trying to keep. Like, this is where I thought I was safe. And there you go. So make sure if you've got the rift, put it down. So I'm just going to put some special here. Try and save. Because my machine gun is my prime way of... Uh, of taking uh, the Volta shield down. And there we go. So I, the reason why I switched back to do the damage that I'd done was uh, because I remembered I had so many bricks down at the bottom. Now at some point, you see here that we're getting a bunch of ads. Now we're going to get exploders. Now I'm using this box on this side as as kind of cover from Navota, so I can cover my position and take out any ads. You've got to be careful here. You do not want to be in a position where you've been pushed by a bunch of exploders. And then this kind of mound up here, you see this mound right in front of us? This is where I use this as cover again to uh, to deal damage. I can put a rift down here, but always be, always, always make sure you're, you're de-scoping so you can see what's coming don't want to get caught out you're doing damage and then a whole bunch of exploders come up because that will kill you but you can actually just stick around this area just put a rift down get your ox hole pull out your machine gun break a shield and you see there big damage big damage for what it is put a grenade and then just put it on her make sure you're de-scoping to see what's around you yeah now she's moved down the bottom. Now we're going to get a whole bunch of ads. There we go. We've got some to our left. Nearly got caught out. That's why I'm telling you guys to do it. Because I nearly got caught out. You're going to get a ton of ads here. A ton of exploders. Some knights. Uh, and then everything's going to go quiet. See there. There's still such a bunch of ads. That's where Trinity Ghoul comes into its own. Trinity Go just as an ad clearing monster. Just tons and tons of ads. But they will stop coming eventually. And then you get a chance to just you and Navota. You can see there, that's I think that's the last night. Then it's just us and Navota. Navota. Now, there is gonna come a point where you're oh, you're gonna get Another wave of ads. Just, now I don't know if you if you've seen what I done there. Uh, my super actually kept hitting that that uh, thing in front of us. Now we know that there's ads coming up. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. When you'll get Navota to a certain point, and then you'll get another big wave of ads. And again, exactly the same as last time. No difference. Trinity Ghoul does its job, clears all the ads. Uh, there's still an ad down there. Now I don't, as I was saying, I don't know if you've seen what I'd done. What I what I done at that point when we when we when we got the first wave of ads. Just put some sniper shots on her. Uh, I threw my grenade to the biggest side uh, next to her because I knew the minute I started hitting her, she would move. So luckily, I threw my grenade to her right and then started shooting her and she dodged me straight away which is it's it's what she does so now i'm just going to finish her off with a machine gun hopefully as a grenade on her and uh that is all she wrote so i knew that it's learned behavior i knew she would move the minute i started hitting her and i just guessed right with a grenade she went right back into it and it done decent damage the one thing i didn't mention is this week's weapon is the malicious birthright which is a primary grenade launcher. So good luck getting that. It's it's used to be a half decent grenade launcher. I haven't used it yet, but I have had a few of them. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the run. I hope you've learned a little bit about this strike and how to beat it. Uh, keep a lookout for my featured, my themed nightfall, the triple sniper one. Until then, you guys have a great day, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video.